Hello, my friends. Welcome to Talk to Me Tuesday for Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. This is Jennifer. I'm not feeling my best and brightest today, so this is going to be a quick one. Um, I did finish my quote back last week. As you can see, it is on the wall. These were all fat quarters and scraps, and the long strips were... Um, they were the yardage that I showed you guys previously. I used every scrap, every scrap of this fabric. I had, I don't know what I did with it now, but I had like literal, just like little bitty pieces left, maybe six or eight different little pieces that I cut off of like the ends. This is about, um, I think it's about 100 by 102, something like that. So it's the perfect size to put on my frame and, um, and quilt my quilt, which I will not be doing until probably mid-April because I have to be cleared by my podiatrist to stand up for that long first. Um, I did do a teeny tiny bit of quilting because, guys, I, I don't know if you saw it, but I did get my mid-arm back um, on Thursday. I was very excited. Um, I took my son with me and he carried it in for me. We got it all set up. And then later I set up my Star Wars quilt because it's only 18 inches. And I just, you know, I just wanted to make sure my machine was working and etc. So I haven't finished it, but it is in progress. I have binding and uh, pocket cut because it's going to end up hanging on my front door. I have my label made and I did get this quilted. I just uh, obviously needs all those things attached to it. I uh, ended up sewing around the applique with my, um, my little Janome machine has uh, multiple stitches. So I ended up doing that on there and then I love the quilting on the back. So I'll show you guys this again when I get it all finished. The only other thing I did last week, I mean this was a big job that took me a couple of days and then the other little bits with the, the um, Star Wars quilt have been just little bits and pieces here and there. The other thing I did was I pulled out my embroidery machine and I made some sleep masks. So this one's double sided, it's the same. And then this one, this is actually the last little piece of fabric. It was a pre-quilted fabric that I got when I won that uh, bunch of scrap fabric from Art Gallery. And this little fabric on the back was left from a little bit of fabric Janice gave me. This one was um, a remnant I got, I think I bought it at Austin Creative Reuse. It was just like a piece, just like a an 18 inch piece, like with the yard of fleece. I'm, this was interesting to me because this is the pattern. Um, it comes with the eyes. These other two, I just skipped this step. I don't know why the eyes aren't this way. So anyway, it was a free pattern. I'll put a link to that. It's a, a free embroidery pattern. I think if I do it again, I'm going to go into my design software and just flip the eyes so that they are sleeping because I want them to look sleepy. But anyway, still be nice and comfy. Um, my husband likes to read after I fall asleep, so sleep mask. Because I'm feeling kind of gross, I've decided to wait one more week to uh, give you guys more time to submit names for the picnic quilt. I have something like 18 so far, um, and just the only caveat is it needs to not exist, so um, Google that name. I am checking all of them just to be sure, but yeah, you guys have another week to decide. I'm thinking at the very least I'm going to do a curated jelly roll. So I have, uh, I have lots of great fabric and um, I thought I might just do a curated jelly roll and maybe some stickers. You know, I have Phantom Stitches stickers, Talk To Me Tuesday stickers, and uh, who knows what else? Who knows what else I might feel like by next week? I'm very low energy right now, so it's making my creativity just kind of like bleh. So anyway, you guys have a good week, have a crafty week. I'd love to see your videos. Give me something to do while I'm not feeling great. And um, yeah, be, be sure you uh, leave me a suggestion for a picnic quilt name and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.